Today, we are going to explore a revolutionary new liquid nitrogen engine that will outrun electric vehicles and their eco-friendly cousins, hydrogen cars, and deflate car prices. What is a liquid nitrogen engine? How exactly will this engine work? Will it destroy EVs and hydrogen vehicles? Well, this is not about some fiction movie stuff. It is real-life tech that's gaining momentum and will eventually be adopted as a safe alternative to fossil fuels. So, buckle up for an exciting journey through the dynamic and evolving world of automobiles. The history of liquid nitrogen engine. In the late 1800s, nitrogen was first liquefied by Polish physicists Zygmunt Roblowski and Karol Olszewski. Due to the low boiling point of the liquid, it was widely used as a coolant in the automobile and aerospace fields to cool high temperatures. With the rise of global warming and the urgent need for alternative sources of energy for automobiles, manufacturers have wondered if liquid nitrogen could power an automobile engine. The research into the use of liquid nitrogen for automobile engines began in the early 1900s by the British inventor Peter Dearman. The idea was to use nitrogen's chemical nature to power vehicles, instead of dependence on energy from fossil fuels, petrol. Since nitrogen has a ratio of 700 to 1 when changing from liquid to gas, the pressure needed to power the engine piston is generated when liquid nitrogen changes state to gas via a heat exchanger. Now to the concept of a nitrogen engine. In simple words, a nitrogen engine is a type of engine development that can be used in automobiles. However, instead of fossil fuels, it uses liquid nitrogen as a source of energy. To remove the veil, the nitrogen engine works similarly to the conventional engine in our vehicles. So what's the difference? Before we answer that question, let's see how fossil fuels evolved. The discovery of fossil fuels sped up inventions due to the available source of energy. During design, inventors no longer have to worry about a source of energy to power engines. Sadly, with the depletion of the ozone layers, scientists and environmentalists conducted research to unveil the cause of the depletion of the ozone layer. A major part of the results points to the massive use of fossil fuels. A report from the US EPA revealed vehicles cause 75% of carbon monoxide emissions into the atmosphere. Furthermore, in 2018, the International Energy Agency discovered vehicles contribute to 25% of global warming. As a result, alternative sources of energy were decided upon. So, back to the question, what's the difference between nitrogen engines and fossil fuels? In short, the difference lies in the source of energy used to power the piston. Here, liquid nitrogen is employed. In fossil fuels to power the piston, we get energy from widely known gasoline, petrol, but pressure from the change of state of nitrogen powered the piston. Come to think of it, is liquid nitrogen the only fossil fuel alternative? The obvious answer is no. Some of you watching this video probably own a Tesla or perhaps opt for Toyota's new hydrogen cars. How does this vehicle compare with a liquid nitrogen car? Comparison with other fossil fuel alternatives. Electric cars. With the global U-turn from fossil fuel vehicles and the quest for the best alternative to smog-belching gasoline cars, the research for fossil fuel alternatives has skyrocketed. Yearly, billions of dollars are spent on improving the discovered alternative. So far, we have heard about hydrogen-powered cars and the famous electric vehicles. With Tesla's Rochester in 2006, electric vehicles have been on the rise and widely bought in the US. They are powered by lead car batteries with zero emissions. As we all know, this type of vehicle only needs to be recharged to regain lost energy. No refueling and discharge of carbon into the atmosphere. The year 2023 saw a massive turn up in electric vehicles with Tesla selling over a million electric vehicles to its consumers, hydrogen fuel cells. With the increase in funds for research and Toyota's bold declarations on producing hydrogen vehicles to destroy electric vehicles, a major part of the automotive industry is threading the path and adoption of hydrogen-powered vehicles. Statistics showed in 2021 alone, Japan spent over $800 million in investment into hydrogen power and fuel cells. Hydrogen fuel cell cars have been touted as the next big thing and trend in the automotive industry. 
For the obvious reason, hydrogen is the most abundant substance in the galaxy. They are zero emission alternatives to using fossil fuels. A simple definition is they are vehicles that use liquefied hydrogen as fuels to power engines. However, there are two sides to anything in this world. So, on the bright side, hydrogen-powered vehicles are very light and do not give off toxic fumes with no carbon footprint. This type of energy source is renewable and readily available. Unlike electric cars that take up to 30 minutes and several hours to charge, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles get charged within five minutes. On the dark side, the cost of producing hydrogen vehicles is very high. This is because hydrogen, though abundant in nature, exists with oxygen. To get the pure hydrogen, we need to separate it from oxygen and then liquefy from gaseous state to liquid. Just as gasoline and diesel are known rivals in the blossoming days of fossil automobiles, hydrogen-powered cars are coming up on the stage against electric vehicles. With massive investments into hydrogen cars, we can see the stiff competition between the two alternatives. Well, this question hasn't been directly answered. Most experts give their view and their choice, and because you rock, you get to join other experts as you decide which is best. Now, having considered the strength and shortfall of the hydrogen and electric vehicles, will a liquid nitrogen vehicle be the iota of perfection? Let's delve deep as we examine the difference between the three alternatives. Producing hydrogen vehicles is energy intensive, involving two basic processes, the separation from oxygen and conversion to liquid. The process is very expensive. Electric vehicles' major power element is the batteries. To produce batteries, rare metals like lithium and cobalt are extracted from the Earth's surface. The extraction of these metals leads to heavy metal pollution. Kesera, the greater the demand for lead, the greater the threats for pollution in mining, smelting, transport, and disposing these chemicals. Liquid nitrogen, on the other hand, is easily harnessed from the atmosphere, and all it needs is to be stored in an insulated container. Unlike hydrogen, it doesn't need to be separated from other chemicals. Before liquefaction and compared with EVs, liquefaction doesn't pollute the atmosphere. When it comes to weight, electric vehicles have greater weight attributed to their battery. Hydrogen and liquid nitrogen weigh less. The cost of producing liquid hydrogen is high, and the batteries for electric vehicles account for a third of the vehicle's price. Limitations of liquid nitrogen engine. Liquid nitrogen engine emits nitrogen to the atmosphere. Since nitrogen is a major constituent of the atmosphere, it causes no harm. Some reports show that a buildup of excess nitrogen can cause pollution equal to or more than that of fossil fuels. This can also lead to massive growth of algae in rivers and oceans. However, it would take a very long time for it to hit these levels. Nonetheless, it is worth noting. Another limitation of liquid nitrogen is the storage flasks. A very important factor in using nitrogen as fuel in vehicles is the insulated storage flasks. Insulated storage flasks prevent nitrogen from reaching its boiling point of minus 196 degrees Celsius. To achieve this, the flask has to be kept within a temperature range of minus 200 degrees Celsius to minus 300 degrees Celsius. The low temperature creates a challenge for designing a usable engine. Aside from this limiting factor, liquid nitrogen engines will not emit any harmful gas into the air from the tailpipe emissions. Glimpse into the future of liquid nitrogen engine. Decades ago, some groups of people envisioned the concept of a virtual world. Back then, it seemed impossible, but with the latest technology breakthroughs like virtual games and MetaQuest, the virtual dream is close to reality. The same applies to electric vehicles. In short, there is no evidence of a physical liquid nitrogen engine in vehicles. However, deep research is ongoing on making it a reality. How soon? Five, 10, perhaps 20 years away. Well, it's not some vision of 2050, however. A liquid nitrogen engine would become a reality. Before we wrap up, I want to hear from you. Do you think liquid nitrogen engines are feasible? 
Also, do you think it will be a better alternative to electric vehicles and hydrogen vehicles? Or do electric cars and hydrogen cars still hold the upper hand? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss future exploration of emerging technology. Thank you for sticking with us. You rock. Until next time, keep growing and stay curious.